All right, I know it's been a while. We finally got it done. Yep, she's all done. Um, what I went on here then was I, uh, I did like one coat of fiberglass itself and um, I did two coats of resin, painted it all black, then I did one more coat of resin. And for the bottom, I went on ahead and lined everything up at the very bottom. I taped that off, then I put some of the truck bed lining spray in there. Well, at the bottom, because I didn't have any rub, rub rails. So, yeah, that's all for that. And for this side, I went on ahead and uh, put some resin on those and painted those black as well. I have the other pieces that's going to go right here, too. And the lights um, didn't come out exactly like I wanted. I mean, I wanted to look a little bit more cleaner, but uh, I think uh, it'll pass for the first go around. What I have to do now is I'm going to install the little um, bar for the rope. I don't know what it's called. I'm going to install that right there. And then we're going on water. I got that installed and um, it's, it's pretty it's pretty good. It's on there pretty good. I kept most of the, well, all of the instruments out just in case this bad boy goes down. I don't want all my money going down the drain. Anyway, but um, since I got that installed, we're ready to go. I got a little bit of rope, you know, just in case. And got the little paddle in there. So I'm about to just back my truck up in, load it up, and well, go pay my insurance and go find a body of water. Well, goddamn, uh, <laughs> I made a, not a big boo-boo, but it ain't too bad. Well, when I pull all these measurements, I initially took my measurements, you know, said that the width of the truck was five feet. Exactly, well, from this point right here. What I forgot to do was take into consideration that I was going to be adding a, about a, about three sixteenths of plywood and another what eighth inch of fiberglass bondo and, re and resin so just those so just that what quarter of inch threw me off and now i have about about a foot sticking out or whatever but it's no biggie it's no biggie i might just um cut a groove into the truck either that or just pick it up and over over this all right, I got her in there. Uh, what I had to do was pick it up and over this little thing right here. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I just had to pick it up and over that to uh, get her in. So, next trip, buy the water, baby. All right, we got her in. And she's floating rather high than I, what I expected. What's going on? What's up? Um, so far, no leaks. And it moves pretty quick. They are pretty smooth. So yeah, she floats, baby. She floats. I'm going to try to get in here to see what it looks like. Yeah, she floats, baby. And the water line is like, comes up to. I got a little small leak right there, it looks like. It looks like this. Itty bitty tiny leak. But baby, we are in business. And from the back, I have about five inches of clearance. We're in good business, baby. Good, good business. Super good business. Put it at the back right quick. Oh my God, I couldn't, I can't believe how well she floats. When it's in the water alone, I think the water line comes up to about right here. It's like what, three inches, three, four inches maybe? But when I get in, I'm what, 160 or 155, and I had about five inches of play, so 
it only brought it up like an extra two inches. So for every 150 pounds, it goes up another two inches. So with a passenger, it'll probably go up to about right here. And the motor, if if it makes up to right here. So with the motor, oh yeah, it'll clear the uh, side skirts. Man, I can ask for anything better. No, we're not finished with it, you know. And the little small leak I had came from right here. So, and the reason it is because when I set it down on the uh, loading ramp, I uh, had it right on it on this rear right here, and I thought it was sturdy as hell. But the concrete ate away at it just that fast, and it um, swiped away that first layer, well, that, the only layer of fiberglass, and those three layers of resin. So what I'm have to do is is stop being lazy and cheap and going I'm just gonna have to fiberglass at least two inches all the way around with like maybe what four coats something real real solid not just that but I'm gonna also install some uh, rub rails too so when I unload it it won't uh, affect the uh, the boat itself and not only that I'm gonna um, make a little makeshift uh, unloading ramp Cause I'm gonna have a trailer, so I'm gonna make a little unloaded ramp that's gonna attach from the back of my truck to the bottom, well, to the ramp, to the bottom of the ramp. But I probably wouldn't be finishing that or doing that phase. It's about a week or so. But um, as always, thanks for watching.